Rude always wants to be able to show, but versus here is like Disruptor Naga. You can't show this hero that often. So right. Lina kind of fixes this problem in the draft and it will enable them to actually get to this mid late game timing. Okay, that's a pretty good concept. In, in that case, um, you said Naga is relatively unanswered, but will the Lina be able to help deal with that pressure a bit, especially if they manage to get an early lane win against Araccio? First blood goes over to Amar. Should Faceless Void be jumping in on these fights with the time dilation in? I mean, it's a potent spell this game. You've got Batfighter, really Timber. I think this spell is amazing. Carry players often skip it. Mm -hmm. so, like, they put the one point at least and then they go <laughs> nothing else. Yeah, it yeah. makes me sad, personally. Because uh, I know when I'm Timber Saw and the Faceless Void shows up, I'm sad. Blimps back, TA2000 is already undone. A decent amount of damage. He'll turn around and get the bash on a Tofu. So they are probably going to get the double off of this with the dive and the fire spirits. That's a double kill for Kyori. We, we saw one of the games earlier, both supports were just level 5 or level 4 forever. They just can't <laughs> yeah, play the game. AUI 2000 Vintage, yep. just forever level 4. Yeah, that always feels bad. New gets a nice stun on mid. Yeah, he just turns around and kills Tofu straight up. He's like, no, you're going to gank me. You're going to pay for it. Now, Noob is certainly going to die for this, but hey, he, he goes down with his head held high. Yeah, really good body block, but... You know how much he loves that. Yeah, they also this move that they're doing right now uh, is really, really popular for gaming, where Quinn always goes to his, the enemy tri-camp and tries to steal their camps, kind of gank the off lane, secure safe lane. Oh, nice flame break midway through Omar's attempt to get a blast off, but looks like they're going to get the kill on Quinn anyway. So it seems like Quest may be up to that tech that gaming gladiators are pulling that they like to be able to invade the triangle. It's hard to say. I would say in this game, probably killing the Brood is really easy. The Naga can just net, the Disruptor can glimpse, but it's one of those things where if you do the one that's wrong in the situation and then you die once or twice, you always feel like you need to shake. Sure. Yeah. So a glimpse on mid. Yeah, pretty easy kill on Omar as he's not really going to be able to do much besides get a blast off, throw some damage out. We saw Quinn also again, this time invaded the other side of the jungle and cleared up some other stacks. So they are doing a good job of taking away what Quest was hoping to build up for some of their other heroes. I presume the Lina, who's going to show up and get the LSA onto Ace with the Laguna Blade, bring him down. If they have to, they'll use the Chronosphere, but it's really not necessary. Same time bot, though. They get a catch on Amar. That is a massive kill. And uh, Amar, he'll get the kill before he goes down. Once again, Quest, the cores, they get ganked, but they go down fighting and get a kill. Tell supports like what he needs, very direct. Right. And so they probably feel like they don't need to kind of force pressure because they have a Doom. So they have Doom in the top lane, just farming up his Midas. They have Naga just controlling all of bot. They're still holding their tower. So kind of just get to hold the map in the same position. Static Storm going to be put to use. But once again, Amar fighting back where he can. The damage is just a little a bit too much. The glimpse back, no, the life seal. He before he got glimpsed back, that's enough to live. And Noob will help them get the kill on Durachio. They're going to prioritize him first, get Tofu. Now Noob is going to die to Quinn. He does successfully get that kill, but can he get out? A long Timber Chain, level three. Time dilation on cooldown now, so another Timber Chain is going to be able to get him since away. But he's going deeper into the dire side, and he's now... Dyer's top tower. Oh, he can chase any further. It's time to go, it's time to go. They kill. Just wait till Quest makes a mistake to deal with these waves. They can't not deal with the waves, so they see a hero pushing a wave and they go kill that hero. You see that right? I think it was Nuke going for a early BKB. He's going to show up for this Chronosphere. The damage isn't going to be quite enough, but maybe the blast off will ensure it. Yeah, that is just enough. Quest put together a really big kill on Quinn. I feel like this is a little undervalued on the hero. Yeah. It's been buffed a lot. It's uh, 140 extra damage per spell when you're at max stats. Right. So it turns out to be a lot. And in, in longer fights, that's a yeah. lot for these Dragon Slaves and LSAs. Especially now that the Dragon Slaves have 4.5 second cooldown, it just turns out damage. Omar keeps on uh, pushing in this mid lane. It seems like just a general strategy from Quest that they're willing to give up Omar in exchange for, you know, pushing in mid, getting some golden experience. I guess constantly drawing attention here, but the attention is now on bottom lane. It glimpses back into the Static Storm and a quick kill. Amar will get the turnaround onto Tofu, but not a happy fight for Quest, at least not yet anyway. They're going to start backing away. And Quinn is going to pursue. Just buying it, but you're buying a stun. That's one of the things you know, people always complain drafts like, oh, this team doesn't pick stuns, you know, they pick whatever, they pick Razor and stuff. So he ends up buying, He buy, you could just buy a stun. Yeah. Why not? Counterpoint, 
AUI 2000, I'm pretty sure, would be like, uh, you know, Veil's a pretty good team fight item, you know? Uh, that? We, we saw him build that in LS. Use Veil on BKB targets and put mm -hmm. spells on them. True, true. And Lena's throwing out a lot of spells. And, uh, well, Fury is going to have that Scythe device slowed down just a tad bit here. Quinn dropping his item, picking it back up right before the LS ace That was a close one. Shield Rune is going to be activated, and that is going to spoil this Chronosphere setup. Quinn aggressively going in. That Shield Rune's gone now. The time dilation's making things hell for him, but another Timber Chain up. Where's the rest of his team? Amar has chased back the entirety of Gaming Gladiators, and Quinn has been left alone on an island until Duraccio comes in to save the day. Bails him out, but do they want to keep this fight going? Amari's still running at Heroes in oh, the yeah, back. Right now he's running at Quinn. Noob is going to be the target, though, and they'll finish him off with the physical damage. Amar now trapped inside the kinetic field. His aggression may now be his undoing, as his team cannot bail him out this far back. Great fight from Quinn. Very, like, heads up free, and they're still going to get oh, another catch with the yeah. Quinn. One more, so three kills in exchange for a do. The shield rune was like popped just before the chrono went off and probably either a combination of them not actually being like willing to fight and fight because of the lanes always pushed in so they always have to feel split and a combination of this chrono kind of being used for like a kill here or there and not being able to move. His BKB is on cooldown. He doesn't have the LSA back and he's going to be glimpsed. Ooh, that is a rough one. Back to back deaths for Noob now. Is this is the 95% that Brian talked about. And so Quest always has to respond to the lanes and they just keep getting picked off. And then because of that, they just feel so scared that they don't want to push lanes. And, just, and now they're just down 11,000 gold. Would you say, uh, like, do you re would you regret the no boots of travel build on Lena off of this? As they do manage to get the Chronosphere. Maybe this is the moment. He got him on the edge too. So Amar is putting damage onto Duraki. The they throw the Laguna Blade. None of it is enough. Big LSA, say. they hit it right before the song. And maybe it is enough. Duraccio does fall. 64 seconds dead for the carry. A big pickup for Quest right as things were looking bleak. I mean, it still faces Void Lake. Right? No matter how many answers you have to him, I feel like Chronosphere is still the scariest late game ability you can match up against. Now, two, three starting to go down. TA2000 is still trying to finish up his Lincolns, it looks like. He's about 300 gold off, so we'll just tell his team to give up the tier three and he'll come back soon. And they smoke up, they want to get a fire. Yeah, they're actually going to get a quick pick off on a celery. That's very nice, but the oh, song no. into the static storm could be here. Can Tofu reach that far? It looks like it. He's going to have a three man static storm. Chakram out. Quinn, they're going to try and land the damage, but TA2000 intercepts with the Chronosphere. That's going to help Lena survive through this one. Gets off his BKB and now turns around. They have to just back away, though. Sadly, Gaming Gladiators are a bit too tanky for them to get any kills, but at least they don't lose their Lena. He's probably the best hero to try and push Gaming Gladiators away from these buildings. Really nice on the back lane too. Mark does get the jump on Disruptor, so no glimpse to kind of catch these heroes out at the end of the fight, but really nice song in the static storm. It, I, I thought it was going to be way worse than it was. Mark's still going for more. He, he wants to die back on his celery. Nice use of Hurricane by Ace, and they're going to get the lasso on Amar. Try and hold him out during this BKB. They just got right beautifully placed with a stun out one. from Omar. That is beautiful. Duraccio's almost dead. With his Aegis gone, he is dead for good in this fight. Perfect stuff. Ace using the Hurricane to get to the low ground. TA2000 was certain he had a kill there, but not quite. Still chasing for more, but I think gaming gladiators are good to get out. Well, uh, Quest is going to be buying some stunts. We got the Scythe on Amar. How's uh, Kiori's going, doing? Oh, he has uh, his. He's had his for a while. Oh, I missed it. He hasn't really been able to click it because he's been getting gone on the line. This is a really big kill. Oh. Yeah, uh, they get the pick off on the Phoenix. No, by so, the Still no Supernova. Still no uh, Scythe. We really aren't being able to see the value. The double dieback up supports. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been a rough one for the quest supports. They've been they've been trying to do what they can. Well, they're going to take advantage of those uh, diebacks by taking the full lane of barracks. And then once uh, Ace T canceled his TP, Amar went back in for the kill. So he's going to take at least the range barracks. See if he can get the melee before the rest of the team is here. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, and the same thing is happening with the creeps pushing in. I mean, they're about to take a tier four. But Quest knows this is the only way back into the game right now. They have to play for this one fight, even if it costs them all the buildings in their base. They're going to jump onto Noob here. Does manage to get him with the lasso. Pull him way out of position here. Limps back. 
Amar's gonna get a free kill. Off. That is a big one. Tofu's dead. Now he does have the buyback, but, yeah, but he can't get here in time for this all. Noob's gonna need to be able to blink out, and maybe they have Chrono. Yeah, 2000 looking for it, especially after Rachio. The blast up. No, what? Duraccio managed to somehow get himself away from that one. He's still in the chronosphere, but it's hard for this damage to follow up now. Now they've got the static storm and a doom placed on a TA 2000. That's a lot of hate right now. KRE tried to keep him alive with the sunray, but it's not good enough. Those heroes are both dead with no buyback. New blinking away over the side. Amar is going to work where he can, but can he handle this Naga Siren? Bit by bit, he tried to work through that HP. Nice LSA, LSA dodge. once again, a dodge from Duraccio with this some illusions and Quinn Noob trying might to chase die after Noob where he can. Slowing him down. Looks like Quest may have to start backing away. Ooh, big side blink in from the Doom into that LSA. Quinn's almost dead. Amar is going to town with this damage, man. He is tearing through these heroes and Duraccio can't quite do the same. Amar chasing after Ace. Can he finish him off? One more hit. He needs it so badly. Ogre still totem. Still not enough. A blink away. Amar, is he going to find him in the trees? Oh, he finds him. Numbs him up. Gets that kill. Noob does end up falling, but Amar does he reign supreme and this he's gonna bring out Quinn as well. The throne is dying during the, this entire fight. Oh, Nobody it's gonna die. Save it, Amar. I can help. Back to the base now. But the what throne is gonna die. The creeps are gonna oh, take no. it. Oh no. No, Quest. They fought to the bitter end. They fought for their one chance, their one opportunity to turn the game around. But in the end, the game is defense of the ancients, and it doesn't require heroes to kill the buildings. I'm surprised, honestly, that they got this Bloodseeker pickup. I think it's one of the. I think it's the best carry in the game versus Timbersaw. Mm. Your rupture is really good for him. You also chew through his health at some point with the shard, just with so much damage the output. A lot of magic damage as well, which is. You think is a little surprising, but you go Maelstrom, you go the Ags. Fighting under the blood right. First blood is going to be Celeries. And again, Duraccio has no problem living through the counter aggression from Amar. Uh, they do play it sometimes a little bit slower. It seems to pay off. But this hero isn't nearly as early game dependent as he used to be. Yeah, I've even seen him sometimes go treads just so he can farm the jungle faster than mm -hmm. the early game. Try to stop the pressure, but. Pick off here from Tofu and Celery, an early link up by them in order to no secure blink. the power runes, but yeah, he has no blink, he's going to be hit with that oh. fifth stack of poison, Gary instantly executes that. To try to prevent this point in the game where I've clicked all my buttons, guys, uh, I, I hope it was good enough. Yeah. Uh, which is why, like, a Timbersaw is such a good hero, right? He, he never stops clicking buttons, unless he's ruptured. Yeah, and uh, he's going to be run down underneath his tower here. And Noob's TP rotation is not going to net them anything in return. To almost 2,000 health. It's not even 10 minutes in the game. But it does force out the two TPs from the quest support. So that's 200 gold that you just got from them. And it's now just a big question of how does quest kind of move their heroes. And it's going to be TA2000 take the warp gate. Raccio TPing away, realizes he sees Omar coming in, so he cancels the TP, so runs fast. the other direction, gets away from the spin. Can he get out of this one, though? Cutting through the trees, TA-2000. Omar, yeah, the Chakram, they've got him. They corral him in here. Now, they're in very deep, and they have the Rupture plus the Doom on Amar. Boy, that's a lot of hate. Even the other heroes immediately start targeting Amar. I got him. I, I, I he got dead. Him. Jesus. Death number two of the game. And they will manage to get another one. That's going to be Omar. Cookie snapping him down from that telekinesis. And Ofu. Help there on the other side. They give both kills to Quinn. So something to know for gaming gladiators really trying to bump up this Queen of Pain off of. And they do have two like side lane heroes that I would say are pretty annoying to try and gank. And the Juggernaut and the, the Timbersaw. So gaming gladiators, if the game does slow down, naturally they're going to try and make some sort of move and they may not have enough firepower. In this situation though, the support, Gyori, going to be blinked on. He'll get off some spells before he dies. So Quinn is going to die for this one. The Omni Slash as the Juggernaut comes back into lane. TA2000 gets active, now gets tossed onto Celery. Branch will slow him down, and is that going to be enough? He doesn't quite get it, but the Avalanche will clean him up in the end from Noob. A little too aggressive. I think Gaming really wanted to make a move there, try to force a kill, but half of that, simple math, right? You can do that. 
<laughs> I can't. I can. North America has taught me uh, enough just, to just do check, Just checking in. Just yeah. checking in. And, you know, <laughs> half of that big red number, you just feel, huh? <laughs> nice toss back on the slash onto Ace. Another pick off on this Doom, who is supposed to be one of the advantages for gaming gladiators. If the game does slow down, this hand of mine is Doom is going to be taken up in net worth. My uh, traditional co-caster, uh, Avery, would say that's... That's a big GG right there. He loves Juggernaut Lake game. Do you feel I, the same? I also love the Juggernaut Lake yeah. game. It's a large GG. I would say <laughs> really to quote me. Under Ace gonna go down in the top lane. It's a free pick. It's just so hard to stop. And they might even just go into Roche. Even like just uh just all the in Lake game fights, you know, here just lose a little health, and move a little faster, but he's a healing ward. Yeah. His whole team just full health until they you know, until it expires, until they die. They wanted to get a blood seeker kill. So they did not get the Blood Seeker kill, they did not get the Wizard Rune, and he died. Yeah, it feels bad. But, but they got a BKB truck. They did get a BKB, so not all is lost. They would get another 2 2 tower, so. And they'll still get the Blood Seeker kill. Noob gets the toss up. They're oh, going to be able no. to. Oh, okay. That was not the disruption you wanted. Radiant's bottom tower is under It's okay. Amar, Amar's getting the kill mid. Yeah? It could be worse. Oh. No, no, oh. it's not. He lied to us. He's doomed. He is now doomed, doomed and Quinn is going to try and get this kill. The Avalanche covering it up a little bit. Nice oh, he stole Doom. Oh, that's going to be dangerous. Instantly Quinn. puts it on to Quinn as soon as he blinks forward. Toss him into Noob for even further danger. Quinn's going to need some help off of this one. TA2000 going straight for the back line at the same time with the Omni Slash spin, killing off Celery. The heal, the heals. No. It's not going to be enough. That Doom just lasting far too long. And now turns that Nether Blast right back around on a Tofu. One. And he's going to finish him off in style. Look at Duraccio zooming around here. But all he can do is run away from Quest. Scanning. Which but, sounds possible considering TA2000 is a pretty aggressive carry. So, yeah, also like Doom, right? Has a you side. randomly get a rupture and a Doom on some hero. Yeah, then. Amar tanked that combo early in the game. It's still still viable at this point in the game. You can kill anything. Avalanche on two. This is a nice setup. A toss back on Ace instantly on the slash kill. And Duraccio is forced to use his BKB to TP out off of that purge. I think uh, Game Gladiators might need like a Lotus Orb at some point. Try to let the Bloodseeker actually exist in the fight and not get Omni Slash. Yeah. But they, they don't have the time. They're knocking on the door. Rupture, but for what? You can't actually force them to move around. In fact, they are bringing you into Amar instead of the other way around. Amar even just chains at the enemy's face. And they're going to try to defend the ward, but they're not able to. And, you know, Quinn. He needs to... It's so hard for him to take these fights, honestly. I don't see how Quinn really is going to be able to have much impact. It's on whether Bloodseeker actually is able to out damage the team. Once again, going for Ace. Man, they are targeting Ace time and time again. It doesn't quite work out this way. It's hard because of Sonic Wave, but the Omni Slash will finish off Ace anyway. Garaccio, meanwhile, slowed down constantly by that Demonic Purge. This matchup looks exactly the way you were talking about it. Toss up in the air on Amar, ruining his Timber Chain, but that's okay. Celery. Oh, yeah, that's a I've little not, area. I've not been a little clip before. Yeah, that, well, we learned something new. I mean, the, the the fights are very clearly, like, drawing out quite a bit. That Axe will help, but as you said, when you're behind, you can't get in there to kill the healing ward. It feels all kind of useless. Hexed up. Okay. Yep, Scythes, they blow them up very quickly. The Stolen Kisses being the finishing touch there. 19,000 net worth lead and Quest are ready to go high ground again if they really want to. They don't have to though. They can just sit back and wait for Roshan if they want to play absolutely perfectly safe. Ace does it. Nice it's up to the instant telekinesis stalling out the Doom and that's going to make things really hard for Still Ace. Alive, does stay alive thanks to the Glimmer Cape but Duraccio had to use his BKB and ultimately the initiation did not get what they wanted out of it. Quest the back toss? up the full, almost got the toss, gets it now, toss him back in, alley to his team, Duraccio dies just like that, and the Doom that was gets stolen. So good. They Lotus Orb and Lincolnson during the Doom animation, so he doesn't get Doom here, flex the Doom, and he just walks out of there. Quest Esports bouncing back from a game one and truly flexing on gaming gladiators. It looks like they had a lot of fun doing it too. Yeah, really nice game. I I like. Oh, I'm how sorry. Did I just see Amar do a little bit of like? Uh, I don't hear anybody anymore. I don't.
Something I think is really cool, I want to bring attention to, is Threat Shield buys a salve a lot on carry. Mm. So, you know, PSA to all you carry players up there. Never. It is worth it to buy your own regen. Buy your own goddamn regen. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be that strong, but... Uh, buy your own goddamn regen. I'm tired of giving you tangos all the time. It's good, guys. You, you should do it in your pubs. You will win a lot more. And he does this consistently every game. After the banner runs, he'll buy a salve, and it's so that he can trade really early, get the advantage, and then pop a salve. But it doesn't really work when your support maybe goes down. On the strike. Ah, lines it up. Gets the first blood. Duraccio is going to try and slow him down. I think he might have this kill as long as he keeps the damage on him. Oh, trickery. Dodges a little bit more, but he has that reflection coming out. Amar just got a little bit more off the stick. He just needs the one hit. No, he doesn't. He needed two hits. Amar once again gets away, man. Because you can drop the ring, it'll break refractions. It kind of forces TA to not be able to fight in an area. And besides that, it's not anything crazy. Maybe a little bit more initiation. Just the, in general, off the bound, the strength. Quinn. He might go down. Very low. The swashbuckle does catch him. Noob. Winning the matchup against Quinn. Uh-oh. All right, North America is not looking on top right now. Quinn is European. Oh, he's European, he's European now. Oh, I see. Too much yeah. time on the server. Yeah, you're spending a lot of time on yeah. Reddit, huh? Blast off, gonna land onto Omar, but Omar is gonna be the one in trouble here. Oh, yeah. oh man, he got off the boundless strike to finish off Duraccio just in time. What a good trade off. Like this the prop trade, game. one for two. Omar, maybe he gets a kill on Celery too. Oh, they trade two for two off the support rotation. I mean, Tofu is going to be super happy with his levels, but considering the fact that they were outnumbered, Quest, Omar, and Omar, they do a great job battling back. Yeah, he's he's going to feel good, but it's one of those survivor's guilt where you're like, oh God, I ganked and I got them both killed. Yeah. What have I done to this lane? <laughs> and. It feels really bad. So whenever you bring this third hero to a lane and it doesn't work out, it's just so much loss because you're also going to expect that your lane's going bad. Now, Quinn's getting ganked by the support you just killed. Yeah, and he did do a really good job putting that damage back on a noob, and now the survivor's killed. He puts on to Omar instead because Quinn manages to get the kill, and Kaori gets killed as he shows up because Do Old Tofu and Celery were ready to go. They secure the power rune for Quinn. We'll probably see Quinn be more active than you'd expect from a TA. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that does seem very much needed because it did feel like the, the greediness of this lineup was going to be a little bit too much to handle. Blast off in from the side. Tofu does dodge. land it onto Amar. He tried to dodge it with a trickery. Not quite good enough, but now tossed in. They're trying to, like, kite him around while still keep this uh, damage on him. So he can't jump away to the trees. Well played. Tofu will pick up the last hit on that one. Who shows up another hero goes down of course it's generally that the off lane can enable the supports to leave to go to the mid lane mm. so the mid lane matchup is because of how the off laners are being played like okay the brood kicks the support out support goes mid now there's a lot of fighting mid and you kind of give up after the brood We're dropping some mines behind the tombstones out but uh, the, the zombies and the tombstone oh are both going to be taken out so quickly and ta 2000 cannot morph strength fast enough not against that heavy physical damage of a double damage ta even playing very casually right now, you're just going to get a gold advantage by how the lanes will be pushed down, what camps you have the ability to park. So you say the, if these side lane towers are so important, what would you give? Just like, no matter what the, the draft is, just give me a general, like, what would you say the win percentage is of a team that gets... Oh, no, Tofu! I hate it when that bug. happens. He got the Z access bug. Yep. He got the kill on TA2000 oh. anyway? Okay. It all works out like a dream for Tofu somehow. Meanwhile, Amar is going to be run down. He won't be able to jump away into the trees. As a deal. He's going to stick on to him here. And that lifesteal, I don't think that's going to be enough. You can't beat Incapacity any bite, or maybe you can with the Wukong's command and the TP rotation's coming in. Nice try, Celery, with his own steal of the ultimate, but obviously he's not nearly as tanky as the monkey. Yeah, I do like the Shroud MTA. It's, it's really nice. The silence just kind of messes up with a lot of heroes. And it's just, you like, you can't uh, link it or anything. It just gets clicked on you all the time. Even with BKBs, you can click it at the very end. And then oh, the yeah. Silence at the end, so a lot of value on it. Can't overcommit for this one. Oh, nice steal. Celery gets his own tombstone. So Yori is uh, likely to die for this. He tries to TP right in front of a Rubik that has Telekinesis. Scotty picked up on Duraccio. Yeah, it really is high ground hitting time. And what is Quest's plan? Rolling Thunder, 
Mountain Dew set isn't really that good versus TA. TA will click you, the Terror Blade will click you, and you can't do any damage. So it's what? You're just hoping for a big Wukong and trying to one-shot a hero? Yeah, which uh, I think Amar is typically one of the last people to teleport back on these high ground defenses. Three mid racks. Morphling, I'll be deciding to farm because he really needs his ags, but can't really give up two rut racks at this point. Yeah, I mean, they don't have the Tombstone anymore. They're going to go in with the Rolling Thunder, try and blow up Taraccio. They get a silence onto him, but a four staff gets him well out of danger. Now, there's a potential of a turnaround here with the Sunder. Steal Wukong's command for the Rubik. And two special. Back up. Wait for their meta and Tombstone to come up again. That's why Quest and Momus immediately smoke out. Try and catch Gaming Gladiators. Oh, while they're a little bit split. Ace is going to be the target here. He's on down with the Inhibit. They've got him. Great pickup for Quest. Really nice kill. They, they need every single kill they can get. They need this Morphling Ags. He gets the last of two. So one of the best situations they could have hoped for. They didn't lose the racks. They didn't die in a hero. And they got a free kill in the brood. So. All in all, could be could be a lot worse for them. Yeah, it's gonna get uh, a little rough here as some heroes get picked off outside of the base. Yeah. The miss? Oh, he missed. He has a Gossamer's cape. No way. Uh, okay, that is one of the downsides of TA right now. Yeah. That Gossamer's cape is pretty rough for you. As you see when, it again. Uh, he just has no care. This is so like casual on the state of the game where yeah, you just feel like you can't die. You know. You're, you're still focusing the comms with the back of your head. You're like, oh, this is, you know, what are they going to do to me? Yeah. If you die here in this case, you're like, oh my god. Why Quinbat? I'm dead. But Amar just casually gets picked off. Duracho activates the meta after that kill. He says, that is enough for me to go for Megas at 22 minutes. And hell, they might even maybe expect that Amar doesn't have buyback. The way this game is sped up so dramatically, they finally get the Aghanim Scepter on the Morphling. You get one chance to keep this going for a little bit longer. New Mystic Flare, all the damage, but there goes the Manta from Duraccio. He's gonna be fine, and he can use the Sunder on somebody if he wishes. Amar jumps in, needed to get silence, and he's gonna die underneath the mine. The Rolling Celery, Rolling Thunder that he stole away, interrupted Quest from being able to help out Amar. Noob's gonna jump in, jump away with the Swashbuckle, needed to get silence up by the TA shard. Fortunately, the shield reduction will help a little bit, but not enough. TA 2000 turns around, throws out one last well nuke, but it's not gonna be good enough. They're gonna get wiped here and GG is going to be called. Gaming Gladiators will be advancing to the upper bracket final by bringing down Quest. Really nice uh, TA by Quinn. I would say has a lot of impact on him. He did really win the lane. He got solo killed, but just the way that they was able to pressure the lane, they took the tower really early. They kind of forced the Pango to 